Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a reading test in terms of Cambridge 7, test 3, reading passage 3. The topic is the plans to protect the forests of Europe. So the topic is about the uh, conservation <coughs> of forests in Europe, throughout the Europe, right? All right, let's begin with the questions. So we have true, false, not given here. And then we have a <coughs> like this. As, as you see, we've been given a table with letters and below we have numbers, right? We have something, which means we have to match them according to the passage. And the last one is about choosing best title, kind of multiple choice, but we have to figure out the overall meaning of the text, okay? So let's just start off by doing the true false not given. All right, first, problems of Mediterranean countries are to be discussed. So to be discussed at the next, right? Next meeting of experts, which means in the future. And here do we have the word Mediterranean. So we have the keyword here, Mediterranean. So those confined to particular geographical areas, such as countries bordering the Mediterranean or the Nordic countries, there will have to be discarded which means in the past. And however, this doesn't mean that in the future, they will be ignored. So in the future, uh, it's not guaranteed that they will be ignored in the future, which means it's not about, it's not talking about the, it's going to be discussed at the meeting. So uh, we don't know about it yet, which means that's why the answer should be not given. Because here, just, totally different idea here, just different idea. Uh, it, it may look like the same, but no. The, the next one, problems in Nordic countries, problems in Nordic countries were excluded, right? Excluded because they are outside, which means uh, the reason is that uh, they are not included because they are not inside of the European economic community, which means they are outside the European economic community. So we, uh, as you see, so let's write it down here, 27 here, right? So, okay, uh, Nordic countries, Nordic countries here, right? Nordic countries. So their initial task to decide which of the many forest problems of concern to Europe involved the largest number of countries and might be subject of joint action, right? And those confined to particular geographical areas, such as bordering, which means uh, bordering, right? Bordering the Mediterranean or the Nordic countries uh, the, uh, had to be discarded. Here, the word discarded and excluded uh, somehow could be synonym, right? Uh, which means not included, but here the reason, the reason why, which means uh, because, right? Uh, the reason is, so seems to be different here, totally different because they are outside, but here it says concern to Europe, right? On bordering the Mediterranean, such as countries, uh, they are, uh, so, confined to particular geographical areas and the problems, right? Problems, forest problems <coughs> of concern to Europe. Uh, and here it says outside. And that's why the answer should be false. So forests are renewable source of material, raw material, right? Uh -huh. Uh, let's write down 28 here. Mm -hmm. European countries see forests as performing triple function, biological, economical, and recreation. First, they act as a green line of our planet by means of polysynthesis. Forests produce oxygen through the transformation of solar energy, thus fulfilling what forms is essential role in measurable power, raw material, right? At the same time, forests provide raw materials for human activities through their constantly renewed production of food. Yeah, that's why uh, 29 just lies here. And according 
to the question and the passage, the answer should be true because here it says renewable source of raw material. Uh, here it says also, also it says uh, provide raw materials, constantly renewed production, right? Provide raw materials, renewed production of wood, and that. Uh, all right, next one. Uh, the biological function of forests were recognized only, right? This is the keyword, only in 20th century. And we have the number here, 20th century. <clears throat> so let's look for the word, the word uh, just related to the number, right? <clears throat> recognize it. Uh -huh. I'll, so the economic importance of forest has been understood since the dawn of man. Dawn of man, this is also uh, somehow the keyword for the word, uh, I mean, <clears throat> in the early early days of the man, which means kind of thousand, thousand years ago, right? Uh, the other aspects have been recognized only for a few centuries, right? Recognized only for a few centuries. For a few centuries, which means the answer is here. And just let's think about it. All right, uh, for a few centuries, a few century somehow means three, four, five centuries, or uh, just in other words, we could say somehow uh, 300 or 400 years ago. But here it says 20th century, and that's why the answer is is false. So natural forest still, right? Still exist in the part of the Europe. This is the keyword that we have to pay attention to, uh, which means there are still natural forests just throughout the Europe. And here, if you pay attention here, all European forests are artificial, which means they are not natural, right? And that's why let's put it, write it down 31, and the answer should be false, right? Okay, next one. Forest policy should be limited by national boundaries. Should be limited, right? By national boundaries. All right. This means that forest policy is vital. This is the keyword that we're looking for, right? Uh -huh. And it must transcend, right? Transcend means go over. Uh, I, I mean, uh, not limited, right? So it must transcend national frontiers. Na uh, national frontier could be a direct synonym to the word national boundaries and limited could be a direct antonym to the word limited, right? And that's why this is the reason it, it should be, it should be just exactly false. And in the real exam, just don't worry about that. We have the, uh, in the, in the, in, so, in the one place, just as long as we have three triple false answers, this doesn't mean the there is no logic here. So it's test and it's natural. And Strasbourg Conference decided the policy, forest policy must allow uh, for the possibility of change. Must allow, right? They should allow, they have to allow forest policy. All right, the, where's the word Strasbourg here? The Strasbourg Conference was one of the first events on such a scale to reach conclusion. And what conclusion? If you if you see, uh, <clears throat> if you pay attention here, we have the keyword such. Uh, this is the pro pronoun, right? And that's why it requires that we have to pay attention to the sentence before this sentence, right? All right. It must allow for the inevitable change, right? It must allow for the inevitable changes, which means just exact change that have to be taken place there uh, to take in the to take place in the forest in needs and hence in policy. And the Strasbourg Conference was one of the first such events, right? Uh, first events on such scale. Such scale here, the 
uh, referring to the word it must allow for an inevitable change and that's why the answer is exactly 33 and true because it says here the same okay dokie mm -hmm. as you see we have uh here resolutions right let's just make it bigger a uh, resolution one two three four five six and which means we have resolutions here all right but just let's try to figure out the resolutions numbers all right the general declaration was accompanied by six detailed resolutions six detailed resolutions which means we have six resolutions here as well right all right the first process here and so let's look for the next one okay sec second resolution lies here and third one where is the third one the preserve do not affect europe sim mm -hmm. So as you see, we have a uh, fifth one, which means the four and three. Okay, third one here. And the first one, yeah, right here, you see? And finally, finally refers to the word six, because six here is the final number, right? And as you see, we have just figured out the locations of the answers. And now it's time to read one by one. So we don't have to, we don't have to read just all of them, just one by one. No. Uh, first of all, what we should do. So the right, the right step is that we should read this. The first proposes the extension. First, first, first of all, um, we should read every single resolutions and decide which answer should be somehow appropriate or suitable or matchable right the first process the extension and systematization of surveillance right surveillance sites to monitor forest decline to monitor forest decline the forest decline is still poorly understood leads to the laws of high proportion of trees, needles, and leaves, right? And let's just try to read one by one whether it should be matchable or not. All kinds of species of trees should be preserved. Uh, should be preserved. Do we have uh, do we have such many here? All kinds of species should be preserved. No, I don't think so. It's fragile. Uh, the fragile mountain it's not it's not talking about mountain right mountain no no mountain so uh, fragile oh, so sorry my bad uh, right should be preserved all kinds of species fragile mountain uh, right don't need priority treatment uh, better coordinated should be collected and shared uh, excessively and carefully monitored loss of leaves all right uh, somehow it could look like the word here uh, extension uh, extensively right monitor we have the word monitor in you know this is uh, let's say this is passage three and the answer is not some kind of answer that could be found so easily. So I don't think so because we have somehow the trap, the word loss of leaves, but it says uh, to monitor forest decline. It's not talking about loss of leaves, right? And that's why this answer could look like the correct one. Uh, however, it's not. The research should be allocated to research into tree disease, right? Tree disease. Skiing, that's the keyword that we have to pay attention. Soil imbalance, the gather, decline, and condition of forest. Condition of forest, that's the keyword. And systematically gathered any decline, any decline in the condition of forest. Uh, you know, that's the keyword here. 
So why? Because uh, it's talking about that it's monitoring forest declining, which means condition of forest and systematically gather on any decline. So surveillance, that's the key word, surveillance, gather, system, systemization of uh, surveillance. And this is the reason why it should be 34 in J, right? Uh, this is second resolution, which means just folks, just we never ever read this part of the text in order to just cut the time, save the time, right? The second resolution concentrates on the need to uh, preserve the genetic diversity of the uh, European forest. And that's the keyword that we are looking for. And preserve forest. Uh-huh. All kind of species should be traded, preserved. And that's why it should be A. All right. Okay, okay. I was right. 35 here. And third one. As you see, the third one should be given just in the middle of the sentence, which means we have to read the sentence from the beginning, right? Although the forest uh, fire doesn't affect all the Europe to the same extent, the amount of damage caused of the expert to propose as the third resolution that Strasbourg Conference considered the establishment of a European data bank on the subject, which means uh -huh, data bank information right uh, uh -huh. establishment do not affect and one of the cause of expert propose they propose uh-huh all information used in the development of national preserve policies would become generally available yeah generally available which means everyone can use this right let's write it down as 36 here and let's decide which one could be all right uh, it's not talking about fragile, so let's just try to uh, cross it out be, in order to save time and not pay attention to, right? <clears throat> it's not fragile mountain, it's not priority treatment, it's not uh, talking about coordination. Information on forest fires should be collected and shared. Yeah, this is the keyword that we are looking for. Uh, share it, which means would become generally available, right? And that's why the answer should be E1, right? And the uh, next one. The subject of the first resolution discussed by the minister was mountain forest. That's the keyword that we don't have to pay attention to the other one because we have the word fragile mountain here, which means the answer should be B, just without, without doubt, right? Uh, 37 here. Okay, the key. The next one, the fifth resolution uh, relaunched the European. Okay, well, it's just <clears throat> European Research Network on Psychology of Trees called Eura Silva, and it should support joint European research on tree disease and their psychological and biochemical aspects. Each country concerned could increase the number of scholarship. Well, that's the keyword. Uh, could increase the number of scholarship, other financial support. So, support. For doctoral thesis and uh, research project, uh -huh. uh, it's talking about biological chemical aspects, research on tree disease. <clears throat> uh -huh. Ah, right. We have the keyword here: disease allocated. Yeah, that's the keyword that just we didn't mention just in the beginning, but allocated, right? Uh, support. Allocation support here. That's why a tree disease, tree disease. Undoubtedly, it's J, G, sorry, G. And let's just try to cross it out, right? A, B, G, J, G, J, A, E, B, G. So which one? Yeah, this one. So the next one, uh, which means the last one, right? Now, finally, the conference established the framework for a European research network on forest ecosystem. Mm -hmm. This would also involve harmonizing activity in individual countries, as well as identifying the number of uh, priority research topics related to the protection of forests, right? Uh, was provided for the future. Uh -huh. Main concern provide for the future. And it's 
harmonizing activity which means they are working right they are working together like uh sponsorship or so let's say it's the partnership uh, so I, I was going to say partnership right this would also <clears throat> involve harmonizing activity in individual countries as well as identifying uh i think just the answer actually lies here harmonizing that's the exact keyword right and soil it's not about soil it's not about skiing and yeah it's it's talking about coordination right because harmonizing activity coordination throughout europe uh right framework for european research that's why the answer should be d one right let's write it down here d and the last one so the last one uh, question 40 oh, what is the best title best title which means we have to figure out the overall general meaning of your past right uh, biological economical recreational role you know there could be the word biological here but you, you know just as long as we have words it doesn't mean it's just all right for example, we have biological, economic recreation, the keyword here, but just only a part of it, right? It's not the whole general idea. And let's just try to read. Forests are one of the main elements of natural heritage. The decline of Europe's forests over the last decade, you see, uh, and half has led to an increasing awareness and understanding of serious imbalance which threatened them. European countries are becoming increasingly concerned by major threats to European forest threat. And, you know, it's talking about somehow protecting, right? Protecting um, forests. So that's why it's not. And plans to protect forests of Europe. Yeah, this is the keyword. This is the exact answer because they are going to protect the forest throughout the Europe and they're planning, they have uh, some sort of plan. And you, you, you know, just if you if you already paid attention, we had six resolutions in terms of saving forests and that's why the answer should be B, right? Mm -hmm. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention.